Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, it's it's been a weekend, <laughs> right James? Mm -hmm. Um we had really long big plans this week, but um they kind of got changed and canceled and um let's see, old well, Tuesday Hannah threw up <laughs> all over me. I picked her up from her nap and she just vomited all over me. So um, David was at work and I texted and called him and when he came home we took her temperature and she had a pretty high temperature. So we took her in to um, a children's urgent care and I'm glad we did. One because she well had a really high temperature but um, she also had an ear infection and a really red throat. And they did do a COVID test on her and they said that she did not have COVID. Um, they said she could have strep, but whatever they were in a box they were gonna give her for her ear, that should clear that up. But um, so we, we did have plans for this weekend. So we're like, okay, well, she should be good for the, by the weekend. Well, here comes Thursday and James, threw up almost on my face <laughs> he was sleeping in my bed and uh, I, I woke up and he was kind of just uh, coughing I was like are you about to throw up are you about to throw up <laughs> sorry I, I should have given a warning this could have been gross for y'all but um warning warning this can be gross <laughs> too late now anyway and then all of a sudden he just vomited all over my pillow <laughs> that's not what you were doing you were very sick and so I was like great so uh, well we still have it one day we we're like well we were supposed to leave Friday so I was like well we'll wait one more day and see if it gives everybody handed the extra day of rest and maybe this is a 24-hour bug it's only like a 24-hour stomach bug with Hannah so we're like well maybe it'll only be a 24-hour bug with James and uh but thursday night it hit david yeah so i was like oh boy that probably means i'm next um i felt fine thursday night um friday morning i was fine friday afternoon of course it hit me <laughs> and um no, no. yeah that's yeah, that's how i felt and i think i calculated between friday from Friday afternoon around two o'clock until Sunday, I think I woke up around noon. I slept about 35 hours. Man, I needed it. I was exhausted. I was out of it. I'm a, I was weak. I never threw up. Everybody else threw up. Ex vomited, whatever word it sh I should use. Everybody did except me, but I had all the other symptoms that comes with a stomach bug so I won't go into more detail <laughs> yeah anyway so life doesn't always give you uh doesn't always go as planned we had big plans to hang out with um some okay James <laughs> some uh friends um in Broken Boat um Oklahoma it was our friend's 35th birthday and we were gonna go like zip lining in the mountains and all these other fun things that you can do with friends, adult friends, you know, without, friends. without your children, you know, just hanging out and having fun. But we didn't, we didn't get to do that. So it's okay. Queen. Family comes first. You can tell he's 100%. He, he slept a lot too. So. Yesterday, I was still really weak and tired, but I'm, I'm here. I'm better now. I, feel, I think I'm better today. I don't feel as tired and weak. All right, so um, I am about to get my second COVID shot. Um, I'm a little worried about it because everybody says that the first one's a breeze. I just had a really, really sore arm with the first one. Um, like the, fir the first day was really sore and the second day was like really, really sore. But it was weird, like when I woke up the next day, it was completely gone. You'd think it kind of linger, but it, it didn't. It just, it was completely gone. So, um, 
so I'm kind of nervous. And a lot of people said that by the second one, it seems to hit the younger people a little bit harder. And you feel like you've hit, got hit by a truck. You either feel like you got hit by a truck or you just feel like nothing happened at all. So let's see what happens. I'm actually really, really nervous about this. But I, want, I definitely want my COVID shot. So I'm about to go in and get it. And I just kind of want to do a like 24 hour to let you know how I'm feeling. So, and I, I really don't want to feel bad again because I just got over from feeling bad. And I felt like I was hit by a truck this weekend. So I didn't have like all the pains and everything. I was just, well, kind of, no, I was just really cold and really, really weak and tired. But I don't want to go through like something similar again this weekend. Please, God. <laughs> okay. We're here a little early, so I think I'm gonna stop and get James a snack and have anything to eat yet. So, and I hadn't either. So, all right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's okay. Close your mouth. We got some pumpkin loaf, chocolate milk, and a pink drink. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes since I've had my shot. Well, yeah, 15 to 30 minutes. And so far, so good. All right, so I just got home. It has been about four hours now, and I guess I started feeling it about, I, feel, I started feeling sore in my arm about two, two to three hours in, and it's pretty sore now. But besides that, I, besides that, I really don't have anything else. Um, nothing else, if I don't have any other side effects. As I try to spit it out. Just kidding. <laughs> um, James just woke up from his nap. So, um, they, they said that probably won't be, won't have any, probably won't have any side effects until hour 12. So, and I'm at hour 4. So, I have about 8 more hours. <laughs> All right. Five hours. <laughs> um, still sore arm. And sorry about the lighting I'm in my bedroom. <laughs> anyway, um, and I'm just tired. I don't know if it's I'm tired because I was sick this past weekend or I'm tired because I only had five hours of sleep last night because I, ha I had so much on my mind or it's because of the COVID shot. I don't know, but I know that is one of the symptoms. I'm um, sorry if you can hear the baby monitor. Hannah's taking a nap, and well, the, we got like a shusher sound thing going for it. But anyway, anyway, just wanted to come in and give you a five-hour um, update. Sore arm, tired. Sore arm, definitely from the shot. Tired. I'm not sure. <laughs> could, that could be from either or so you can you can be the judge of that alrighty I'm about to go to bed but I uh, took a nap this morning or this afternoon sorry my husband my husband's putting um, Hannah down for sleep Shh. so you can that's what you hear over here and James but anyway I woke up from my nap and around eight hours afterwards I guess it's about right and I woke up and my arm hurt I like still hurt like I if I do this I feel like I've been shot in the arm <laughs> this this is not as bad but ah, this is I mean, it still hurts anyway bad 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 um, it's ten hours after my shot 10 hours, let's say 11. 
10 hours. 10 hours? 10 hours after my shot. And uh, really sore. <laughs> About to go to bed. No, I guess I'm 11 hours after my shot. About to go to bed. Scared to wake up in the morning because I don't want to. I don't want to feel bad because I'm scared. Oh, be careful with my. Be careful with my arm, James. It hurts. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. I hey, will see you hopefully in the morning. <laughs> Okay, wow, what a night last night. Uh, I went to bed around the 12 hour mark. And that's, well, Hannah wanted me to put her to sleep last night. So I started feeling it like right before then. Like, well, I was like, started feeling feel like I was rocking her and I was like, is, is there something starting to happen? I wasn't really 100% sure. But then as soon as I got in bed, the chills started. And, uh, man, the chills started. Like, I was freezing. I had to get another blanket. And I couldn't stop shivering. It was, it was horrible. And so, it took me forever to get to sleep. And... Let's see, that was around the 12 hour mark. Around the 16th hour mark, I woke up. And of course, I was extremely sweaty. <laughs> or hot. I don't, I wasn't sweaty. I was hot. I was extremely hot. And I don't know if I was hallucinating or if I just had like extremely good hearing because of this COVID vaccine or what <laughs> but I was hearing like cars going by but they were like zooming past our house <laughs> and like going around out my arm going around like behind us and let me know that let you know that like Right behind us, we don't live like there's not a we don't live on a corner. There's a house right here, and last I checked, their house didn't turn into a racetrack, and there's not a street there, so there's no way that there could be a car there going really fast. <laughs> so I don't know what that was about. And then I was hearing airplanes really, really well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And then, let's see. Then I was like, I got to get up and go to the restroom. I might as well, like, check my temperature. I wasn't going to check my temperature because I was just like, well, if I have a temperature... I'll just let my body just do what it needs to do. But then later, David was like, well, this isn't a real sickness. It's just your body thinking it's sickness, so you could, like, help it out. But then I was like, I didn't think of it that way. <laughs> anyway, I, the first thermometer I found was those ones, those look, that look like guns that everybody has right now that they just shoot at your head, you know. We go into businesses or the doctor, or wherever you're going, they don't touch you, I'd say just throw it away. Throw it away. Because it doesn't work. Either that or are just so off miscalculated. Because I think it miscalculated our daughters too last week when she was sick. Because our first one was, the first time I took it, it was 90 5.5 and the second time I took it was 97.7 and then I was like I feel harder than that I feel like I have a temperature so I and I found the one that we can put underneath your arm and ended up being the temperature saying 
the first time was, I mean, one time it was a hundred point one, and another time it started like beeping at me aggressively and turning red, saying a hundred one point two, <laughs> and I was like, oh, <laughs> I guess I should take some Tylenol or something. <laughs> So I guess I was hallucinating or something I, when I was hearing all those things. I don't know. I don't know. It was a crazy night last night. And I woke up, you know, after your fever breaks, so I was just like sweaty. <laughs> uh, so I woke up, I guess about the 24 hour mark afterwards. And now I'm just extremely tired. And you can tell I look like death. Oh, I took off my makeup last night, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> and my my arm is still sore. Not as bad as it was last night. Like last night, like I told you, I feel like I've been shot. I mean, it doesn't feel like now that the master at bloody knuckles, not bloody knuckles, the master at Whatever that's called. <laughs> when they hit you like this. It's a big thing in the 90s. <laughs> Whatever that was called. Um, He didn't go off of my arm. So that's good. It's, now it's just like sore like it was. Like, like probably the two or three hour mark after I got the vaccine. So that's good. Oh gosh. I told you, it was a crazy night last night. I didn't hardly get any sleep. And David works tonight, so... I'm weak, but I'm like, well... He said, if you don't feel good, then I'll... Um, take off. But I was just like, no, I'll be okay. And the kid, there was a parade. There's supposed to be a parade here in town I was like well maybe I could take the kids to town but I'd have to walk to it because they have the streets closed off but I don't think that's gonna happen <laughs> I'm just too weak and tired so I don't know I'll keep trying to keep you posted if there's anything else that happens uh, I should just be on the up and up from here out but if not I'll let you know Maybe the next update will be of me feeling 100% complete. I'll let you know. Okay. Um, it is now the morning of two days after I got my shot. Um, last night was a lot better. I was cold when I went to sleep. But I think it was just because I was cold. I don't think it was any side effects. Because yesterday... I literally did nothing. I was so tired and weak. But, um, yeah, so. Nothing, but nothing new. No new side effects or anything. Um, this morning, my arm is still sore, which is kind of surprising and kind of not. Kind of surprising because after my first shot, my arm didn't hurt after this by this time but then i'm not surprised because my arm hurts so bad this time that i'm just like i'm not surprised it still hurts if that makes sense <laughs> all right so since i don't have any side side effects and i'm starting to just feel better and better i'm just gonna go ahead go ahead and then close out this vlog um I'm still glad I got the vaccine, even though I didn't feel that good. So don't, I uh, hopefully this doesn't, this vlog doesn't keep you from anybody who's thinking that, oh, I don't know if I should get the vaccine or not. I still think you should get the vaccine. It's worth it. It's worth it than um, going through one night of not feeling good. And not everybody goes through what I went through. Like my mom got the vaccine, vaccine right before I did. And she had no side effects whatsoever. My grandmother, after she got her vaccine, she had a slight headache and slight fever. 
but she said that if she hadn't gotten the vaccine, she wouldn't even had realized that she would even she was even having a side effect. Like if this was just a normal day for her, she probably would it probably would have gone unnoticed. But since she had the vaccine, she was watching for some side effects. So my dad said he didn't have anything. Um, I think my mother in law. I think she said that she just had a sore arm. My father in law had a slight fever or a little fever. I think my brother-in-law was just tired so those are just some people who just had slight side effects to none so I was just one of the lucky people that had not very good side effects so don't let my video keep you from getting the vaccine because you could be one of the lucky people who don't have any and one night of not feeling good is better than having like two weeks of feeling horrible. So, yeah, that's my opinion. All right. I hope you liked this video. <laughs> if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss any of my other videos or any of my videos. All right. Thanks. Until next time. Bye. Thank you.